Hey, Jermaine Griggs here, founder of hearandplay.com, and I'm so excited, as the song says, this is the most wonderful time of the year, and it is. I just love the holiday season, and I'm thrilled to be bringing you Christmas Keys Jazz Edition. This is something we haven't revisited uh, for eight or nine years since the original Christmas Keys came out that covered classic holiday songs. Well, now James Rubel from Jazz 101, Jazz 201, he is jazzing up some of your most favorite Christmas classics. So we've got some samples, we've got some sample lessons ahead, and I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get right to it and enjoy these clips coming and note the release date of the Christmas Keys Jazz Edition because you want to have this in your collection. You don't wanna miss this valuable information. And remember, if you can hear it, you can play it. Here's James. Hello, and welcome to Christmas Keys Jazz Edition. My name is James Rubel. Some of you may recognize me from a variety of jazz lessons that I do from here and play. Jazz 101, Jazz 201, if you're a member of Jazz Intensive Training Center, or maybe you've seen a video in the past from something from me. I am very, very excited to bring this lesson pack to you. Uh, I've been talking with Jermaine about it for uh, quite a bit of time now. It's, it's almost up to double digits in years. So uh, I've been wanting to do this from my first day with Here and Play. So this is a very, very exciting uh, day for me uh, to bring some of this great holiday music to you. I'm going to tell you a little bit about kind of what my plan is, how to teach you all of these great Christmas tunes in a jazz style. Um, here's my plan, because I want to get to playing and showing everything to you. I'm going to do maybe two or three versions of each tune that you have. So if you're a beginner, I'll give you all the great altered chords you need, but keep it kind of at a more simple level. If you're someone with more experience, I'll expand upon the topic. So you can start at the beginner or maybe start to intermediate, see if it's right for you, and kind of go from there. But a lot of those embellishments that you saw me do originally uh, in that clip there, I will show you how to do. I'll give you kind of those formulas you need to jazzify Jermaine used the term Jamesify, but really jazz up your Christmas tune. So that's my goal. Uh, I'm extremely confident you guys will like what you see. I've chosen some of my Christmas favorites. I, I know for some of you it will be, be yours as well. I'm very, very excited to, to bring the content to you uh, and have no doubt that you'll enjoy it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. So the first tune I want to do is an old, old German, actually, song. That was an old German folk song. That's O Tannenbaum. We know it as O Christmas Tree. So I'm going to do this in F major. So that's the first thing. For every version I do, regardless of your level, you know, where you're coming from at the piano, we've got to make sure we know the melody. So my first appeal is if you haven't listened to O Christmas Tree before, is to go ahead and listen to it and get the song in your ears. Get that melody in. Sing it. Uh, I also have to put a disclaimer out that I'm going to sing some of this stuff because it is the best way to learn it. Uh, so you are going to hear my singing voice, uh, even though uh, it's not my favorite thing to hear. So uh, that's just the way it's going to be. It's the best way for you guys to learn. So always first thing is melody, as I said, F major. Okay, F major is white keys with one flat is B flat. So F, G, A, B flat. C, D, E, F, make up the notes in F major, and that's where we're starting. So if we know, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, right? That's the first beginning of the melody. We do it in three, generally written in three, so it's 
two, three, O on the third B, and then it's O Christmas tree on F, and then on the third beat there, O Christmas tree. So it's, don't worry about my left hand, O Christmas tree, O Christmas tree. So that's the first thing to get down is just get the melody. Three, one and two, three, one and two, three is the first thing. Now, all we're going to do is put a chord to it. So the simplest thing you can do over this is just F major. Now, um, I don't have the world's largest hand, so you'll see me hit tenths here and there, uh, pretty much only in certain keys. There's a reason why I'm not teaching this in A flat. One of them is so I can give you all of the rich chord knowledge that I have after years and years of playing. Um, I can't hit tenths in A flat. So uh, part of my key choices are so I can give you the most amount of options and actually physically demonstrate uh, all of them to you. So if you take one five, and this is the third or the tenth, F, C, A, you've got your melody. You can do it right over that. So, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. You can do a chord as well. You can do A, C, D, F, which is a major six chord. F, A, C is a major F triad. If you add the six, you get your six. So try it that way. And you can change the chord there. So if you hold the A, C, and D with the melody, O, and then you just have to move that inversion upwards. So the C, D, F stay, and the A moves up an octave to the A. So O, Christmas tree, O, Christmas tree is the easy way to go. Now, the melody comes into the third bar. You can do that as well. So, nice to keep the major six here. You can keep it as a triad if you want. You always have a lot of different options, but being that this is jazz related, I'm going to give you a lot of extensions and alterations so that we're not just playing basic three note triads or four note chords. You're going to have usually another note in there. This is F major seven. FAC is the major triad in the major seven, which is a half step down from the octave. That's a major seventh interval. That or keep it as a major six. Now the melody. You stand in verdant beauty. Okay. Three, and then on the end of three, you have one and two, three for the beats. So stand in verdant beauty. Okay. One and two, three, one, two, three. Now, the nice part is, once you learn this melody, this actually repeats itself one more time. And that's where we're going to change a little bit of the chords for you. Uh, that's, that's a nice thing with how some of these tunes are written. OK? Just melody first, right? So the easy thing to do is, Keep the F major, and here you go to the 5, which is C. So I have an open 7th in my left hand. Once you learn the melody, you can go. Just to get the roots. Then we can add a chord, right? As we did before. Now here, we can just do it over C. Very, very common. Open seventh in my left hand, C, B flat. This is a C dominant seventh chord. So major triad with a flat seven is a dominant seventh chord. There's a major, there's a dominant seventh, very different sound. So we'd had to be four. Now we're on the third bar. Okay. 
So I can do C, E, B flat, or C, B flat in my left hand, and I have E and G. So I have kind of the third and the fifth in my right hand, the open seventh in my left hand. And on the Danta Verdant, okay, you can do a flat nine, which is, I'll throw in here. Which is nice. That's the D flat. So I'm just holding the E if you notice, and then C sharp or D flat and E, and then back to F major. A lot of different things you can do there as well. So just taking this piece, and then back to F major. That's open seventh. So this is how we're going to approach a lot of this, is a lot of some type of open sevenths in your left hand, because that fills out really nicely. So I have an open seventh, F, A. So beauty. G and A with my thumb. You can do that, or just as we did before, when we started it, A, C, D, F, right? This is nice as well. This is called inner voice movement. This is a little advanced, but I'll show it to you. So I have beauty moving downwards, E and G to D and F. You could even do it in parallel. Okay. So here's what we've seen so far. Oh, to the five. Now, I hope you enjoyed that short clip from James Rubel. That was just 10 minutes of a massive four-hour program covering multiple songs, both basic and advanced, more experienced versions. Now, what you can do as you await the next clip in this series is scroll down below, comment on this page, interact with James, interact with me, tell us how you like that clip, and we'll have more coming from a different song in the series and ultimately, we'll be releasing, for the first time ever, the Christmas Keys Jazz Edition. So stay tuned, tell other folks about it, and most importantly, get ready for the next clip. I'm Jermaine Griggs, signing off, here on Play. Remember, if you can hear it, you can play it.